Greetings. I'm going to be quick, we've got like 10 minutes. Uh, it's politics week here at Team Crazy Train. I am Tony Curtis, your, well I'm not a member of parliament, but I'm a member of TCT. Right, that's what that means. Yeah, And I've got a vision of a new world and the future. Yes, in that order. Yeah, uh, it's politics week and I'm going to tell you my policies if I ran Britain. Hmm? Good. And you, I want your video responses, which would be really nice. Um, your comments are really important. But I want your questions, because in a few weeks on uh, Tony Times, which is my personal channel, I'm going to be answering your questions. So if you've got any questions at all, political-wise, which, you know, about a country and, and things that are changing, whatever you like, you know, uh, ask me questions, and I'll answer every single one of them, right? Because I am your local internet politician, not a member of parliament, just... I'm not even a politician, not what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's get on with my policies, shall we? Yes! Prisons! That's my first topic, right? A prisoner, a scumbag, goes to prison and they go into a holiday home. They are looked after well, they get brilliant food, they get all these TV entertainment stuff, everything. Right? Let's stop. Every prison would have prison TV with educational stuff. They would learn. Okay? Uh, the prison cells wouldn't have all this cushy crap in it. And the food, they wouldn't get highly expensive food as they do and well treated in that respect. Humanitarians, I don't care. Right? A prisoner is a prisoner for a reason. Right? And prisons are not prisons, reality camps. And that's got to change. So I would change that. And a prison would become a prison again. And also, if you went to prison for eight years, Okay, I know like eight years of prison at the moment, you know, we get good behaviour, come out in four, and they've murdered someone, and they've got like an, you know, the victims have got an entire family who are going to be upset for the rest of their lives and never forget it. These prisoners don't care, they get out on good behaviour, and it's disgusting. Eight years would mean eight years, okay, and prison would mean prison. Holiday over. One of the things disgusting everyone at the moment is uh, members of parliament, you know, claiming for a coffee cup or a light bulb and stuff like that which they can pay for them themselves and it's true uh, so you know all that, this expenses thing would it, it wouldn't stop because yes the members of parliament they have to travel to London and stuff uh, to do a job and look after their districts and that fair enough right but homes thousands of pounds on, on members of parliament's homes what People who go to university have dorms, right? So, there would be a dorm for the members of parliament, or we can get hotels and kind of experiences on that. That is what would happen. There would be no expensive houses, which, you know, the normal people can't afford, and they get two, and they get given them. I don't agree. They know what they're getting themselves into, you know, members of parliament, because, you know, they get given everything. I'd have to stop. If we really care about a job, yeah, and it is a good job, they would do and accept less for it. I mean, I get a few hundred a week and I have to survive, so, you know, why can't they? And they're on a lot of money. So, personally it's disgusting, so that would really be looked into and stopped and there would be a Member of Parliament dorm. I think that's a, a way to go. You know, not just this country but the world have had centuries to learn on how to make laws perfect around, you know, all around the world, not just Britain. Um, but we haven't learned a thing. You know, we keep changing laws all the time, uh, which don't make sense. Right, I'll get to the cigarette thing in a minute. But one of the things I like to change is the law of laws, okay? Uh, change, you know, we say, oh, we're going to change this law next year, right? It's going to take like 14 months before I can do it. Why? Why does it take so long? Stop debating. It's an obvious law. You don't need to take so long about it. You can change the law within two weeks if you wanted to. That's what I'd do. I'd make it so if you want to make a new law on uh, some stupidest things in this country, and a lot of them are out of date, you've got to admit, it'd be changed within two weeks. No, no good waiting over a year. That's a long time. It's too long. Get it done within a, a month at least, you know? So I'd do that. That's what I'd do. I'd change the law of laws and nobody'd stop me with it either. My laws, my rules. And they're good too, aren't they, so far? Oh dear, where did it go wrong? I was looking forward to it as 
well as many other people, yeah, was cigarette laws. I think the only people who were upset about it were people that, you know, smoked heavily. But we got it wrong, and it didn't make sense when the law came in. I think someone signed a piece of paper and said, let's change this law, and they got it completely wrong and didn't know what they were doing. But the law is that you cannot smoke in pubs anymore, uh, but you can smoke on the street. Okay. You know, when there's pubs closing, because people can't smoke in there and stuff. Um, why don't you reverse it? Well, this is what I'd do. I'd ban smoking on the streets because after what I don't smoke, and I go down uh, into town, and there's people smoking all over the place. I don't want to breathe iron. You know, street. I don't. Wanna, I don't need it. Okay. And yet, and yet, there's, there's, you can't smoke in a pub, and pubs are closing for one of main bases. Is people can't smoke in there anymore. Bring back the smoking room. Get the people off the streets. Put them back into the pubs where they can smoke because none of the pubs are happy with it anyway. And everybody's happy. At the moment, nobody's happy. It makes no sense. So that would go over and change straight away. Right, I am running out of time, so I've got to be quick. Uh, my policies on immigrants and the Gurkhas, I think it's disgusting the way I've been treating the Gurkhas, like, uh, you know, a Gurkha dies fighting with us in Afghanistan, and then next day his wife and two children say, you've got to leave the country, you don't belong here anymore. Right? And yet, Afghanistan's have come into, into this country all the time, and aren't we at war with, with most of them? It makes no sense. Okay, well, that completely change. The gates need to close. For one thing, um, we should. We, we've got to stop them coming in. There's 2.2 million people in this country who are out of work, and they keep bringing new foreigners in. It makes no sense. And they get given money. They get given housing. And yet, there's British people who are homeless and want to get back on their feet. And the government won't help them. It makes no sense whatsoever. So that had changed for a start. And British citizenship. Okay, British citizenship. That would completely change. It wouldn't be seven years or whatever, and knowing a little bit of history. It would be 15 to 20 years, and it, the test would be conversation, and it would be strong as well. Okay? And it would be tested every year. A lot of them don't belong here. I know a few people that are from Poland uh, that cannot speak English, and yet they've been here for years, and it makes no sense. Okay? Uh, Spain is these people from the Middle East. Uh, they come here wearing the veils and stuff. No respect. It makes us uncomfortable. We bring their laws here, and yet we don't follow our, uh, uh, abide by our laws and stuff, we'd be kicked straight out, okay? That's basically it. And if you want to think I'm racist, don't. Okay, it was good and bad in all nationalities. Unfortunately, we seem to accept a lot of bad people from other countries. Um, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to just jump on over a few other little things before I end this video. Okay? Right, I am seriously running out of time in this video, so I'm going to go through these little bits quick. Um, I'll make more time for my Tony Times questions and answers video than that, alright? Uh, schools. I'm just say that education is a, an aspect I've got to talk about. But for one thing, teachers, they're not role models. And I think kids don't learn enough because the teachers aren't role models. They need to be retrained and thought, think about what they're doing. Uh, youth. There needs to be a curfew for, like, you know, stop chavs going out on the streets and that. Asbos aren't enough. They're like awards from, for breaking the law. And that's true. Um, there's all sorts of things I've got to talk about still. Uh, referendums, you know, people should vote on all sorts of things. I mean, you know, it does affect us and that. Uh, things like Europe and even, you know, uh, what shops are actually going to be bloody brought into town. <laughs> um, what else? Quick, quick, quick. I've got how many things to say. It's, it's unbelievable and I've probably wasted enough time and not been quick enough. But I think I'll actually... You know, one more thing: stop habit, stop habit voting, and think. Oh, I'm going to vote uh, Conservative or Labour just because I do. Look at the policies and vote for the right people. And John Mann MP rules. He's a man. He's got damn good policies, and he sh if he run the country, I think it would be alright. Okay, so that's my politics video. Um, remember, video responses, comments, and I want plenty of questions from this. Right? There's loads of stuff I've covered. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.